oh god again the same confusion what should i do now ice or heat if you have the same confusion stay tuned and watch the video till the end and i'm sure you will get your answers hello family i'm vivek and you're watching fit family tv Knowing exactly when to use heat or ice can shorten the recovery time and help in pains and stiffness. And both ice and heat serve different purposes while treating the same injury. Treating an injury with heat or ice can be extremely efficient and very affordable, almost as good as free. But before that, we need to know that the most beautiful part about our body is the ability to heal itself. Yes, every one of us, me and you are a Wolverine. But when our body heals itself, it inflammates. That is, when you get injured, the wound swells up or turns red. This is a sign of our body healing itself. And to reduce this inflammation, we use heat or cold, that is ice. So now let's see which one to use and when. First, let's talk about heat. Just follow the thumb rule that heat is used to open the capillaries and increase the blood flow to a specific area. Heating should be opted for chronic injuries. But wait, what are chronic injuries? Chronic injuries are injuries that develop slowly and if not treated, they can cause a lifetime of pain and inflammation. Chronic injuries are also called overused injuries. If you have a chronic injury, you will be sore and there will be less blood supply to that area. In that case, you need to choose heating because it opens the blood capillaries and maximizes the blood flow to that area. For example, when you wake up, you feel stiff. You have a sore neck or a stiff back. Then you need to use heating to maximize the blood flow and reduce the pain in that area. Icing is mostly done for acute injuries. Acute injuries are injuries caused by a single traumatic event like an ankle sprain, hamstring muscle strain, or a shoulder sprain. Mostly these injuries happen while working out, running, or even walking. And when that acute injury develops inflammation like redness and swelling, we use ice on it. Because ice constricts the capillaries and reduces the blood flow to that area. And reducing the blood flow is an excellent way of reducing inflammation, swelling, and the pain. And when we put ice on any area, it just turns numb for some time. We don't feel any pain on that. Ice just acts like an analgesic. Usually we use ice in about 48 to 72 hours of getting a particular injury. And if the pain still persists, maybe over a week or so, we need to use heat on that. But remember one thing that is very important. Don't use heat on any injury if the wound is still bleeding because it will increase the blood flow to that area and the bleeding will increase. The main thing to remember here is that whenever you use heat or ice, don't use it for more than 20 minutes. That's about the perfect duration of treatment you need to do. And if you use it more than 20 minutes, it actually might have a reverse effect and the pain may increase. Two more things to remember here. Never use ice directly on your skin. Always have a thin layer of cloth or you can wrap the ice in a towel and place it over the affected area. This actually prevents ice burns. And the other thing that I already discussed above, don't use heating when the wound is still bleeding. And I recommend any of the treatments above for twice or thrice in a day for 20 minutes each for better results. Thanks for watching. I hope this video is useful for you and you now get all the answers for your questions. Share this video with your friends and family and help them. Give this video a big thumbs up. Subscribe to the channel if you're new here and press the bell icon to become the part of the family. I'm Vivek, you're watching Fit Family TV. You're the family.